Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we will try to explain something that quite a few of you have asked me in the past few days and it has to do with the fact that I talked about the activation problem and that it was due to OEM or and um, a lot of you are saying well what is actually that uh, what is OEM so um we refer to machines as two different types of machines in general when we buy computers. We have the computers that have been kind of home built, if you want. You know, small shops will often home built PCs. And um, maybe you're a uh, enthusiast that likes to build your own desktops. These are non branded in general, so they don't have a specific brand or that brand is not really a well-known brand, it's a very localized brand. So that means it's more of a, um, you know, kind of an enthusiast machine. It's more of something that was built for you, custom built, has parts from different manufacturers together in uh, making you a PC. When we talk about OEM, we talk about what's called Original Equipment Manufacturer. And usually that refers to in the PC world as computers that were already built by big companies. For example, Dell is a, a PC maker. Dell is, what when you buy a Dell machine, it's technically a original equipment manufacturing device. Uh, if you buy an Acer, an uh, Asus, a um, HP, these are all what we call OEM or Original Equipment Manufacturers devices. They have a different licensing for Windows. Because when you custom build your machine, these custom build machines are going to have a standard boxed version of Windows 10 if you want. You're going to have a, a full machine, but it will also come with a key that is a full version that costs more in general than what manufacturers, big manufacturers pay for their windows. So it's in a different league and usually has less problems activating because it is a more expensive version. So it kind of is uh, open to um, an easier activation than um, what you'll have with OEMs. Microsoft for a long time didn't really like that you would activate on some other machine a key that was for a specific brand of computer. So sometimes keys would work within the same brand, but not within the same, you know, not when you change uh, to another manufacturer, another PC from another manufacturer. So they are treated in a different way um, in the keys. OEM machines refer to the machines you'll go buy, you know, at Best Buy or, you know, Walmart or whatever, you'll go there, you'll have branded machines that are by big manufacturers, like I said. The Windows 10, of course, you pay for it, but they are getting volume license that are less expensive. So that is what makes the difference in general in the world of OEM machines or original equipment manufacturing machines, which are the big companies, you know, when you buy a brand PC, an HP, a Dell, a Lenovo, an Asus, an Acer, these are what we call OEMs. And of course, the non OEMs or the non original manufacturer machines are going to be more the custom build machines that you get at a local computer shop or that you build yourself by just purchasing parts online. And like I said, they don't have the same way of activating Windows. The uh, enthusiast machine that is custom built will have a full version of Windows 10 with, of course, at full price, where a OEM machine will have a discounted Windows 10 because they buy, you know, thousands and thousands of licenses at the same time. So they get them at a lower price. So that's what makes the difference between an OEM and um, a standard PC that would be custom built. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.